Now let's see the ligaments of the urinary bladder. There are total 16 ligaments of the bladder are there. Out of them, 9 are true ligaments and the 7 are false ligament. So first of all, let's see the true ligaments. The first and most important true ligament of the urinary bladder is the developmental in nature and it, ex it extends from the apex of the urinary bladder up to the umbilicus and it is the remnant of the urecus and that ligament is called as the median umbilical ligament. And for the remaining eight ligaments, we have to take transverse section at this level and when we see the transverse section of the urinary bladder along with the pelvis, we can find this structure. So here for the orientation point of view, this one is the anterior side and this one is the posterior side. So the, from the urinary bladder, two ligaments on each side passes and they are reach up to the pubic symphysis and the pelvic fascia. And these two ligaments are called as the medial and lateral puboprostatic ligament in case of male. And in case of the female, as the prostate is absent, these ligaments are called as the pubovesical ligaments. The two lateral true ligaments, they are going to pass from the lateral aspect of the urinary bladder and reach up to the pelvic fascia. And these are the lateral true ligaments. And on the posterior side, from the posterior inferior aspect of the urinary bladder, the two ligaments, they are passes on the posterior aspect to merge with the pelvic fascia. And this ligament, it is called as the posterior true ligament. These posterior true ligaments, they are going to form the posterior boundary of the space of the red gills. And that's why it contains the vesical plexus of veins. These all true ligaments, they are going to be formed by the condensation of the pelvic fascia. So out of the nine true ligaments, one ligament is developmental in nature, that is the median umbilical ligament and remaining eight ligaments, they are the condensation of the pelvic fascia. Now let's see the false ligament of the urinary bladder. When we see the false ligament of the urinary bladder, the peritoneal fold which is going to cover the median umbilical ligament that is the median umbilical fold and on each side of this median umbilical fold we find the medial umbilical fold. This medial umbilical folds they are also going to reach up to the umbilicus. Median umbilical ligament and median umbilical fold, they both are different. This median umbilical fold, it is the fold of the peritoneum over the urecus. And that remnant of the urecus, it is called as a median umbilical ligament, while the fold of the peritoneum over it, it is called as a median umbilical fold. On the lateral to this median umbilical fold, we find the medial umbilical folds. And this medial umbilical folds, they contain the medial umbilical ligaments, which are the remnants of the obliterated umbilical artery. So these are the three false ligaments. Now the other four false ligaments, let's see one figure. And in this figure, we can draw that this one is the urinary bladder. And here we can see this one is the prostate. As the peritoneal fold, they reaches up to the urinary bladder, they are going to form the deep fossa. And on the each side of the urinary bladder, this fossa are called as the paravesical fossa. And the lowest part of the paravesical fossa, it is called as the lateral false ligament. For remaining two false ligament, we have to see the transverse section of the urinary bladder and here we are going to draw this false ligament with the yellow color. The two posterior false ligament, they are going to start from the posterior inferior aspect of the urinary bladder and they reach up to the posterior side to attach over the third sectoral vertebrae. 
and these two folds posterior ligaments they are called as the sacrogenital fold so we have discussed all the ligaments of the urinary bladder so ultimately there are 16 ligaments of the urinary bladder are there out of them nine are true ligaments and seven are false ligaments these true ligaments include the median umbilical ligament and and the remaining eight ligaments we can see in the transverse section so these eight ligaments they include the lateral and the medial pubovesical or puboprostatic ligaments in case of the female and the male respectively two uh, lateral true ligaments are there and the two posterior true ligaments are there so there are eight ligaments four on each side these are the true ligaments along with the median umbilical fold they contain nine ligaments as true ligaments the the false ligament of the urinary bladder there are seven in number out of them three are the peritoneal folds covering the median and the medial umbilical folds and the, the two ligaments they are on each side of the urinary bladder they are going to form the paravesical fossa and the deepest part of the paravesical fossa it is called as the lateral false ligament and the posteriorly when we take the transverse section of the urinary bladder we can see a pair of the posterior false ligament and this posterior false ligament they extend from the posterior inferior angle angle of the urinary bladder to the third sacral vertebrae and that is called as the sacrogenital fold so there are ultimately seven false ligaments are there 